It's so time, it's folks. It's cruise news time. In March of 2019, the Viking Sky cruise ship faced a dangerous situation off the coast of Husser de Vecchio, which is every passenger and crew's worst nightmare on a cruise ship. Well, I would say the worst nightmare. Second worst nightmare. Worst nightmare is to be on the Titanic. Well, in this situation, this cruise ship had a loss of propulsion and steering, which was caused by severe weather conditions that also caused a blackout and resulted in the depth of the ship while it was in the ocean. And then there was a full investigation, obviously we're only hearing about now, and this is in 2019. So you know this is, was a extremely long investigation that they did probably for about three or four years. And during investigations by Norwegian safety regulars, and after their investigation, they conclude that this ship should have never sailed out of Tremoso. And the cause of the blackouts was insufficient lubricant oil on the diesel generator sub pump tanks. And this event prompted a massive rescue mission with helicopters and coast guards where winds were very challenging to the point where it was about 40 knots per hour. And at this point, they were able to rescue some people of the cruise ship. And then at one point, the cruise was finally able to move at going a maximum of five knots per hour. And safely, they were able to get these passengers off this cruise ship. Now at the further finds when the cruise departed, one of the four diesel generators was out of service. How could you, as a captain, think about that? It's okay to sail with one out of four. I mean, you need a full line of generators to go. Just think about magic on an airplane. It flies off. But only one of, well, one of the wings is working, right? I mean, come on. This is insane right now that this captain, this cruise line, has not been held accountable. But now there was an investigation. So maybe if there's an investigation, they're going to go after some people now. There's no if, ands, or buts that maybe, no, no, no. They have to go after some people. This captain has to lose his license, fired, possibly be put in jail because he's putting these people's lives at, at risk. And also, this cruise line also needs to be held accountable. And this lack of redundancy was a direct contravention of the safe return and port regulation. So like I said earlier, this ship should have never sailed. It should have never been allowed to sail. I mean, I mean, like I said, you got people's lives at risk. You're going out there. Do you want another Titanic? No. Do you want to be going in the world? Like, like I said, what happened in like 2002, 2003 with no ship? With that ship is still on the water and then still filled with oil and gas. And now the ecosystem is a possibility could get ruined because of that. So we don't want that to happen either. Okay. So this ship should have never sailed until this issue was fixed. So in the comments below, please tell me do you think this ship should have sailed? And what consequences should be done to the captain and to this cruise company? Well, thank you all for watching the show today. Until next time, everybody, safe travels.